What is an environmental search, otherwise known as a contamination search? Now, it's one of the good optional searches that the lender normally requires, and it's actually good practice, depending on the area you live in, it's actually good practice from the Council of uh, Licensed Conveyances and the Law Society for you to take out. So it's worthwhile asking your buyer solicitors to actually take this out for you. Uh, it's 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 recommended. Now the reason it's recommended is you don't have to live near a factory for your land to be contaminated. Land historically can go back hundreds of years or even tens of years and even new on what's called brownfield sites or sites which just have a factory in there nearby or a river nearby which has been knocked down and bulldozed and started again. And you'd be surprised because what happens is underneath all this work sometimes contamination seeps through sometimes within six months, a year or many years. Now if contamination seeps through, not only is it dangerous, but it can affect the valuation of your property. Now to make that contamination good, i.e. to make it right, it's up to the buyer to actually put that right. Now if you buy a property without making that search, you are personally responsible for putting that right. Now this can go into tens and tens of thousands of pounds. If you take the search out beforehand and you find that defect, at least you've got a chance to walk away. Or you can get maybe the seller to do part of those repairs before you buy the property. A contamination search.